There are many celebrities out there with unique conditions. Them talking about their difficulties and opening up about their experiences gives people dealing with similar problems around the world someone to relate to. So Max Casella, a 55-year-old actor, finally decided it was time he talked about what happened to him. In this video, we'll talk about Max Casella's revelation and about how he hit puberty at age 27. So stay tuned. First and foremost, Max Casella reveals that he went through puberty at age 27. It's always interesting to see older actors taking on the role of someone much younger. Max Casella is one of these actors. He's always seemed a bit too young for his age. Have you ever wondered why? Well, it looks like the actor is finally comfortable releasing the details. The 55-year-old went through puberty much later than normal people, that is, during their teenage years. Let's just say puberty at 27 definitely can't be a comfortable experience, and Max Casella was more than happy happy to attest to that statement. The actor talked about this exclusively on page 6. He told them that he had a condition known as pituitary dwarfism. This is a growth hormone deficiency that results in an unusually short height. During the Tulsa King premiere, Max said that he was on testosterone. Now, testosterone is a male hormone that's essential for puberty. The actor was on growth hormones and still is because his body didn't go through the change by itself. The 55-year-old revealed that he had a malfunctioning pituitary gland ever since he was born. His puberty was jump-started by pumping him with testosterone and growth hormones because it wasn't happening and it probably wouldn't have without the extra push. He even revealed that by the time he was 25, he hadn't even shaved once. Of course, the delayed puberty was advantageous to him in some forms. This can be seen from the number of roles he's had of characters much younger than him that wouldn't have been physically possible to play otherwise. Next up, he talks about the difficulties he faced dealing with his condition. But this doesn't change the fact that the experience was by no means an easy one. And it's understandable that the actor had a lot of trouble coming to terms with everything happening. He said that it had been a horror show. The actor obviously couldn't talk about it to other people as this isn't common. The condition is very rare. And even if somebody were willing to listen, it wouldn't be the same if they could relate to the problems with the condition. It was a really big problem for him. He was going through something foreign and difficult, but nobody around him understood it. And that the situation was similar to those who spoke up in the trans community. They talk about body dysmorphia and how it felt like the body they lived in wasn't theirs. That was exactly how Max felt going through his late puberty like he was in the wrong body. Of course he did. The actor had spent most of his 20s as a man stuck inside the body of a young boy until they finally pumped him with testosterone and hormones. Hormones. Max Casella is currently starring in Tulsa King alongside Sylvester Stallone. He confessed that meeting with the star and realizing that he'll be acting with him was one of the best moments of his life. Now let's take a look at what he's currently doing. The 55-year-old stated that he had a poster of Sylvester Stallone on his wall when he was just 10 years old. But now that he was acting with him, he couldn't believe his luck. Of course, Max had acted alongside several well-known names. After all, he's an incredibly talented actor who deserves recognition. But these names didn't compete with Stallone even if they were Brad Pitt, Leonardo DiCaprio, and Johnny Depp. He revealed that his experience with them differed. Sometimes it was up and sometimes down, but nothing compared to being able to act with his role model and superhero. Besides, being able to act with a man you had a poster of in your room when you were just 10 years old is the definition of a boyhood dream coming true. Still, it somehow took the younger man some time to realize the 76-year-old was far from the intimidating person he had pictured. He was quite friendly. Max mentioned that something about him felt like, at his core, he was a blue-collar person. By this, he meant that he appreciated the work ethic that encourages hard work. This made him much more comfortable around Stallone. The actor has also played Benny Fazio, a mobster in The Sopranos. Talking about his time there, he fondly remembered how kind James Gandolfini, who played Tony Soprano, was. He added that James even managed to get all of them raises, and he'll be sorely missed. Finally, how Max Casella has been successful despite his rare condition. Despite the problems he had to face, his career has been extremely successful. Max Casella made his debut performance in Don't Look Now, a 1983 TV series. Later, he got the role of Vincent Vinny Del Pino in the Doogie Howser MD television series from 1989 to 1993 with Neil Patrick Harris. Following this, he worked on the 1992 Newsies film, playing the character of Racetrack Higgins. In 1997, Max was awarded a Theatre World Award and a Drama Desk Award nomination 
nomination for his performance in Broadway's production of The Lion King musical, in which he played Timon, the meerkat. During the third season of the hit HBO series The Sopranos, Max joined the cast as Benny Fazio. He also starred as Ed Wood in Analyze This, and in 2007, he portrayed Dick Hauser in The Bronx's Burning miniseries by ESPN. What's more, Max voiced Tip in The Little Mermaid 2 Return to the Sea, Disney's second installment of the beloved animated movie The Little Mermaid. Max also provided the voice for Crow in the animated series Crow in 1993 and 1994. Now, moving on to Tulsa King Boss teasing Sylvester Stallone's oddball crew and bitter rivals. First off, Sylvester Stallone lands his first lead role in a television series. Three-time Oscar nominee Sylvester Stallone has gotten his first significant role in a television series in Tulsa King by Paramount+. Plus. Yellowstone's Taylor Sheridan created the series, and the showrunner is the creator of Boardwalk Empire, Terrence Winter. Stallone plays Dwight the General Manfredi after he's been released from prison after serving a 25-year sentence to protect his boss, Pete Invernizzi, and his son, Charles Invernizzi. After his release, the Invernizzi family rudely gives him the task of starting a new operation in Oklahoma and expanding their empire. Coming up, the mafioso are being played by seasoned tough guys from Winter's previous shows. Early on in the show, half the fun is watching Manfredi put together his crew of oddballs. The other half is the discord with the Invernizzi family. Terrence Winter said that the show goes back and forth between Tulsa and New York and that the Invernizzi family is a great source of conflict. The actors playing the mafioso are experienced tough guys from Winter's previous shows who, according to him, play very well against Sly. Three actors from Boardwalk Empire have also joined the series. These are Vincent Piazza, Dominic Lombardozzi, and Max Casella. Max plays the role of the ambitious criminal Armand Truizzi. Winter says that he and Sly are gold together. While talking about Manfredi, Stallone said that, motivated by his fall from grace, he found his philosophical side in prison. He wasn't satisfied with the life of crime to which he was returning and was expecting a more welcoming wagon than he received. Lastly, Stallone is excited to finally get to play a just cowboy character as Dwight. Stallone admitted that Dwight has a dark side, but on the other hand, he's also a skilled tactician with good wits. He talked about how Manfredi was at the top of his game before he took the fall for his boss. The actor admitted that after finding his philosophical side, he'd got many regrets, but it was the only life he knew and after his return, he was expecting a reward, but was instead exiled to Tulsa to start a mob, as if he were being punished. In the show, Dwight wants to succeed in establishing a Jew crime family, but he also wants to reconnect with his estranged daughter, Tina, played by Tatiana Zapardino. During an interview, Stallone was told that Taylor Sheridan had wanted to work with him for a long time and asked if the feeling was mutual, and Stallone said that it was. He had always wanted to play a just cowboy type of character, so when Tyler gave him a call and he read the script, he found that Dwight Manfredi was just that type of character he wanted to play and took the role. That's a wrap for this video. Are you a fan of Max Casella? Was this news shocking to you? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you at the next one.